Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we are here to watch some Heavenly Delusion. And I can see, Theta, you have uh, already gotten a couple things on your mind. Why don't we go over and see what we got here today? Uh, yeah, some of these are just stream of thought things that I wrote down as I went back over last episode. Like, uh, number 11's name is Juichi, which just means 11. So he's just been calling himself his number anyways. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, that seems to be a pretty common theme. Like, Ichigo is one, so, you know, he's, he's just one. Is it? Yeah. Huh. That, that's what you just named, like, your first son. The first one. <laughs> I guess it goes with his theme song, number one. No, that's actually hilarious. I like that. <laughs> I figured yeah, his but... name would have something more to do with his orange hair or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it seems like a good convention over there. It works. It sounds good. Well, no, because remember, his that was his name when he was a a mm -hmm. slave, basically. Yeah. Uh, number 11 said, I, I think I just wrote that down specifically because I call him number 11 on all the rest of my notes. <laughs> just so as a preamble of, you know, there's a definition of terms. Uh, number 11 says, don't worry about the car. They have a better one. After giving uh, our gang his car, because his car turned out to be shit, and he uh, stole said better one, so they couldn't chase after him. Yeah, yeah, I think that's basically what we saw. My my assumption was still that the gang still fixes up the car and leaves, but we'll we'll just see. Well, the last we saw them was them broken down in the car. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, apparently, the art style change that we were talking about was pioneered by the episode director Kai Ikarashi, uh, who was the uh, epi episode director of that episode. Mm -hmm. I hate when I'm saying the same word over and over again. <laughs> well, he's the episode director, but then I also refer to the episodes like multiple times. Anyway, so maybe not so much about a money issue, like we have deriding and just a style one. And also, since mm -hmm. he was just the episode director... Maybe not one that we'll continue to see. Right, right. So I guess it's just good to know that they have like somebody like that on staff. That's fine. Well, if you go back and look across multiple episodes, the general theme seems to say the same, but there are very unique things that happen uh, because you have a very stacked staff of, uh, of artists and uh, designers and whatnot. So they are all very much have unique qualities to them. Uh, what'd you say his name was again? Uh, Kai Ikarashi. Alright, I'm just I'm just doing a quick scan. The answer is, yeah, he doesn't show up for the rest of the season so far. Alright, let's see. Which image? I guess the first two images. Oh, the ones I sent you? Um, sorry. Yeah. Referencing, not the one of the girls, that'll come up later, the other two images. Which yeah, where we have a little up, toy around the spider leg. I'll put right? up one here, and then I'll put it up on the second one in a minute. Uh, the man-eater had a keychain attached to it, just like number 11, and the two women uh, he tried to escape with did. Mm -hmm. We know the kid has ice powers. The man-eater also had ice powers. So it's possible the man-eater was the mother number 11 tried to escape with, and this is the show telling us that powers are passed down to kids like quirks from uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, it also already. implies that uh, woman was a kid from heaven previously. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm in complete agreement with that. Uh, I don't think I noticed the little figure before, but now I'm wishing it was like an Among Us figurine. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm internet poisoned. <laughs> All right. Uh, if the above is true... That also implies that the innkeeper girl was also a kid of one of the Heaven kids. Yeah, that's entirely possible. We don't know who yet, but entirely possible, right? Further, I love the way I write these sometimes. <laughs> if powers are inherited, and I am right about the Tokyo Maru connection, that means Tokyo should have the power to kill powered individuals that might be shown at some point. Or that he possibly has two powers combined. Uh, I guess I'm. 
but I'd say he obviously I mean Morrow in this situation. Yeah, obviously, yeah. He has two powers combined, given that he should have a powered father. You know, because we know who she's been hooking up with. Maybe the hand reaching in thing is just his dad's ability to see things. So you think maybe it's a combo? Yeah, like my hero. And he doesn't realize it. Well, I mean, he wouldn't, would you? Uh, like, you know, we've already seen... God, what's his name? Kanu? 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 Uh, the dad. The dad's name. The one who's drawing things. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Do we actually have a full name association on that? Maru has, like, acknowledged that, like, oh, yeah, my father's name was X. No, but this is... This okay. is the things that have been. This spelled. is your supposition. Okay. No, Just it's not even not even supposition, Griff. I think it's pretty well spelled out for us at this point. Mm -hmm. Tokyo is pregnant. She's a baby bump. We've seen it. She's uh -huh. only sleeping with one guy, as far as we're aware of. So this is all pre presupposition that Maru is Tokyo's kid. Mm -hmm. We all we need is like for them to go back to heaven this episode and go. What are we gonna name him? Maru. And then we're done. We are we got it. We got everything. Either way, the point of this segment that I've... Not the segment, the segment, Theta's Thoughts. The point of this segment of Theta's Thoughts was that... Uh, I want to say Kanu or something like that. I think his name is Kanu. I can't remember without my head. You're clearly not throwing anything my way. So, <laughs> the guy who's painting the images, as we've seen before when he did the light beam laser, whatever, move was that he has the yeah. power to see things and make them real. So if Maru's hand ability is him seeing that and then making it real, that would imply that he has Kanu's power. Mm -hmm. And that Tokyo, I'm pretty sure, has some... Uh... I don't know if the power to kill things, though, is Kanu's power as well, or if that's Tokyo's power, because I'm really wanting it to be Tokyo's. And that yeah, we, we did... have not seen anything about Tokyo's abilities, have we? Uh, not unless it's the power to blank cameras. And then again, we don't know if that's just the <laughs> AI doing shit. Right, right. Uh, and the last one is the girl's picture. Um, If everyone in the present, air quotes, because it's still theory until proven true, is someone we've seen in the, air quotes, past, is it possible that the two girls kissing that we got back in episode 5 were the two women number 11 was with in the first place since they had powers? Huh, that's not a terrible idea. That would at least put them somewhere if we wanted to kind of track everybody to a place. Well, there but... are lesbian couple from the uh, from heaven. And yeah. They eleven have a smuggest expression too, just look at that. Love it. And eleven it was uh basically getting one woman pregnant for a lesbian couple in that mm -hmm. uh, place wherever he was. So if everybody if everybody that creates a what I'm gonna call it now Hanaku. Yeah. If everyone that creates a Hanaku is someone from the facility, heaven. And that nobody in the real world, real world, nobody in the regular world has the ability to do that. That everybody with a power is someone that came from heaven at one point. Then everybody that we've seen comes from a small group that we can, that's probably them. That's probably there. It's probably him, right? So the two women that were trying to have a kid, and obviously one of them had powers, so must have come from heaven, has to be one of these two. Doesn't have to be. It Not does make me chance. think, if this is the case, if it's only, like, this group of, like, less than 20 preteens who turn into monsters and destroy the world, how do they do that? We've seen the monsters, they aren't destroy the world level, no, they're, they're like, they... terrorize the neighborhood level. We've covered this last episode. One, yeah. the disease was uh, already spreading. Mm -hmm. That's how the kids start dying. Two... Aliens, asteroids, <laughs> possibly war. Because I remember every eleven story wasn't complete bullshit. Plus, right, which this thing in had... his story was also drawn by Kanu, if that is his real name.
Right. So it just kind of leaves, like, all this heaven stuff, the monsters existing, is actually just completely tangential to whatever destroyed the world. It just happened to be that there was an experimental group of super children. Well, again, the thing is, is that we don't know what the source of the disease is, mm -hmm. and the disease is actively killing the kids right now. So if it turns out the disease is active in the outside world as well, then the disease killed the outside world. But all we know right. about the outside world is uh, people died in their homes because they were afraid to go outside to get food, so they starved to death in their own homes. Yeah. So, I mean, if a meteor impact strikes and it's like a nuclear apocalypse outside, you know, not like fire and everything, just like, don't mm -hmm. go outside, it's literally raining silt from the sky from the impact site across the world. You know, in that case, you're already dead. Nuclear, Plus. not nuclear winter, but the effect of nuclear winter without the radiation, right? Just it's so fucking cold outside, you're gonna mm -hmm. die if you go trying to find food. Or aliens are attacking. Don't go outside. It's just scary out there, man. <laughs> or man, I guess actual reach the wood and water. Look out. Or actual <laughs> nuclear winter, if my nuke the whales theory is right. <laughs> or, or you, you know, just... just the fucking disease. Don't it go just outside. doesn't fully line up for me yet. I I need more. I need more. What um, else you got? That's it. That's the end of my thoughts. Just the importance of last episode was a, a lot of stuff you might not have read into. And in mm -hmm. that I feel like everything is being applied from last episode in that, hey, mm -hmm. here is what happened to two of our characters from heaven that you might not have thought about. Here's a bunch of implications that go back to Innkeeper Girl, Maru, the baby that we uh, got mm -hmm. kidnapped. Literally the best use of kidnapped because he's both a kid and he was napping. Yeah. So, last time I think we were saying, like, oh, this feels like a standalone episode. In which case, like, if we interpret the story as, like, what happened to all the kids from heaven, where are they now? Uh, then that starts to align pretty neatly. And then the question comes up, we got this new group of kids that just arrived. There's like five or six more of them that need to be accounted for, right? There's a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. I think there's more of the new kids than there are the old kids. Yeah, so uh, there's a whole lot more that's about to go down. Uh, and I'm excited to see that. So, uh, I think uh, if that's everything, let's just go ahead and talk about what happened last time, just to make sure we know what happened or like what other people are saying here. Summary for the Walt Town. Maro and Kiriko accompany Juichi on a five-hour road trip to the Walt Town to see if his baby is still alive. When they arrive there, they find the facility seemingly abandoned. However, it is inhabited by spider-shaped spider man-eater which can create freezing an environment. Once Kiriko manages to neutralize it, she, Maru, and Juichi are approached by two former breeding pigs who inform Juichi his child is still alive. After Juichi has an emotional reunion with his son, Hugo Kiriko uh, plans to travel to Takahara Academy in Ibakara. Uh, that night, when they are once again attacked by the man-eater, Maru realizes it is actually Hugo, who is unaware of his abilities. Juichi decides to stay with the other men in Hugo, so he gives Maru and Kiriko his van. Juichi later brutally Merc kills the man who raised the alarm when he escaped from the walled town. Meanwhile, in heaven, more children arrive at the facility. Yeah, I think that basically just covers everything that we were... Uh, we kind of went over there. No, no new surprises in the summary. Which is always what I'm looking for. So, Theta... Uh, you got any extra thoughts after hearing anything from last time? Anything else popping up to your mind? <laughs> no, just I covered sure. all my thoughts in the Thetis thoughts section. Good, good. Just making sure. In that case, let's just go ahead and watch. But of course, before we do, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check us out over on our Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all to support the channel, just a little bit extra. We got a new toy. Oh gosh, there are a ton of them now.
<laughs> it is good, I was right. Yeah, yeah. So. I must didn't notice the human nurses there. I thought it was just all robots. Yeah, no, it was two of them. Psychically linked. What? You I wanted more. Vision. No, I wanted more information. He said the baby will be born. Will be born what? Human? We're, we're going to find out. We we put our theory down. We say it's probably Maru. Let's find out. What are we going to get? Is it man? Monster? Or something in between. You decide. I'm sorry, that's the Hulk. Never mind. It's just that the baby will be born. Yeah, we know. We Literally, the scene before <laughs> you said that was us watching the baby be born. Uh, at least it puts us in time for the rest of all the uh, Heaven stuff. Well, no, so... that wasn't even in question. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's, what are you telling me? The baby will be born. It's being born. It's a scene you <laughs> left to watch you tell us. Hey, slightly related thought. You remember how in the early episodes, like, uh, some of the kids were getting, like, images of, like, each other, like, naked? No. And then later on, the scientists are surprised, like, wait, where did they learn all this from? Oh, no, it's because that kid was taking him off of the, uh, the image thing, the, uh, computer. The guy so... shot, shoots himself in the head later. So is this all the computer's fault? Well, no, it's that. We... No, it'd be that would kids' fault for taking him off of the computer. I but think maybe you're misinterpreting he... what I'm saying. We'll come back to that later. He lost those images anyway. How did he get it working? You can't blame a computer for security cameras, Griff. Yeah, we want to be associated with that guy. They have no idea. <笑>僕の商売は信用が大事なんだぞ。しょうもない見よう張ってると思われたらやだな。少なくともキルコマル1号は存在した。ああ、いかだの。そうだ。ローマ数字でこれはキルコマル2号だ。全ての辻褄があ
ミーナさんが産んだのではない子供たち同士の子決定的に予定外決定的に別物トキオくんの子供そこにかけますやってくれますね<笑>私はこの完全に壊れた世の中に天国が芽吹くのを見届けなければならないのですがしかし人間が寿命という足かせを外さなければそれはかなわないえい、ー、プロスペクティブス学園がそれをやりますし,しかし脳移植は入れ物の方が15歳少なくとも13歳くらいに成長していなければ無理です私があと13年も生きられないとでも So the old lady's trying to put her brain into a child with superpowers? <laughs> I'd seem so. Already dying, okay. Yeah, I gotta admit, it is kind of a disappointing end premise <laughs> that this is all caused by an old lady trying to get young again. At least the brain transplant stuff comes full circle now. We know where it comes from. まず青島さんになります。私は。そして入れ物が成長するのをゆっくり待ちます。それだけ間を空ければ二度の移植にも耐えられるでしょ。やはりそのために青島の権限を昇格させたんですね。青島の承諾はあるんですか。副園長の
Robin? Oh my gosh! It is! Is already there. Back to tomatoes. Yeah, it's always back to the tomatoes. Let's go. Mm. Oh, those are ears. I wasn't certain. Yeah, we saw it with the kids playing with them. They just kind of like blend in very nicely with the rest of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> ah, to be a socially awkward kid. Oh, the one from the basement. This is the basement monster. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're absolutely right. So we know what happens to that girl. Which means that her and the other two must get out together, and she somehow dies in the basement at some point. Hmm. Yeah, I knew there was no way the the walls were suddenly attacking her. <laughs> that was not happening. I was thinking technopathic ability first. Yeah, I thought so, but at the same time, it was like, no. <laughs>なのに僕の方は起き上がれないんだよ。まあ、Oh, there's some writing on the wall right here. Well, I mean, we know what happens to her, so... Oh, no, I mean... Guy who can apparently see the future and or create things with his mind or whatever sees the worst thing he can imagine. That's bad combo. たとえば宙に浮かんだ日陰が見えたりこれから起きることが先に見えたりでもぼやっとしてたりいつ起きるかはよくわからない明日起きるような気がしても全然起きなかったりずっと未来のことのような気がしてたのに中病後に起きたり I don't seen him yet. Yeah. Well, this is just straight up pure confirmation. She's got to be having the worst time of anybody. If she can see every... Either you... Get, she sees you as a monster. <laughs> she doesn't. In which case, you're alive and you're not. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> 
I pulled off glasses to wipe tears away again. No! <laughs> I was joking. Kids can't stop doing this. She's escaped the Genjutsu. Alright, she's super cold now. Huh. Huh. Makes me almost feel like Maru might be a child of her and the other. Because she's got the, you know, make it go away power. What was it? Does that guy look like Robin? Oh, okay. Nah, just big puppy hair.俺たちは何を作ってるんだろうな。技術部長にわからないんじゃ。誰もわからないですよ。いや、この機械のことばかりでなくさ、壊れた世界に純粋な天国を作るって目的まではメーカーだったけどさ。その先がさ、天国という目
なんだかわからないけど僕不安なのアンズは頭がいいから大丈夫だろ不安なのはこっちだよそういう意味じゃないんだけどななあヒルコって言ってたよなうん言ってたっけなんだか僕すっかり忘れてた本当の名前を呼ばれた気がしたんだけど僕も僕もそんな気がしたメイビーサンリーベイビーやあチーズトキオジュニアおやすみグローズアップン20セカンズでは、twins! As per both Maru. the drawing and the fact that Maru was looking for his twin. Thank you, Sterno Kato Motara. Game with a name. None of the test to come, Wakarana, and only thank you, the Kinayo. So, yes, oh, ha. There's a monster in the facility. Oh, it must be the one that died before, and there was a bug egg thing that they didn't do anything with. I. So, like, the, the AI has already indicated that, like, it makes some of these children. That That's, like, the whole point, right? It, maybe it just, like, went straight to making a big monster to test the children or something. Well, it never said the AI is making things. Uh, that's well, been my read on it. We have guessed at that before. Like, like first when we saw the AI thing with the big old belly, mm -hmm. that it was, like, incubating shit. But we've never been shown anything or even hinted at. The director did also indicate, it's like, oh, wow, this is crazy. One that we didn't have to make. Yeah, because two of them gave birth to one. Exactly. So, yeah, no, Heaven's about to get a lot less Heavenly very, very quickly. Well, because there's two different conspiracies going on in Heaven. <laughs> one between the main, like, research guy and the assistant director, and one between the main research guy and the director. Mm hmm And now I feel like there's three fact there's an extra factor there. Just we gotta see what the sides are next time. I mean there's no okay. next time on these things ever, so that's true, that's true. I'm I sorry, just... I keep expecting. I want it. I want I was more. just looking to see if there's a new scene or anything, but yeah, continue. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, theory. So we already have confirmed, uh, basically what we've been talking about the whole time. Heaven are the Hiroko, the monsters, they all spread out and go out their own ways, and it, the stuff is hereditary, and even if you're a kid, you end up becoming one later. Or at least that's the fear that, uh, Maru indicated at some point. Uh, so is it possible Maru's twin is already a Hiroko? I doubt it. I mean, it's possible, but to the fact that if it was Tokyo that sent him on this mission, that he's got to inject them with something. And I guess that mm -hmm. something could be a cure to make them not turn into a monster. Basically, what we have here yeah. is a Walking Dead scenario, where basically everybody will turn into a zombie once they die, no matter how you die, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Except that instead of everybody, just everybody from this one place. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I I just don't... I feel kind of bad now, because I don't... All these kids are good kids. I don't want to see them die. But the fact is that we know that they do, because we've been killing them the entire show. Literally, our main characters are the Ghostbuster crew out to kill all of these kids that we're also learning about from the other side. 
I feel like the end to this season, we're not going to have, like, a conspiracy board. We're going to have, like, a where are they now board. We got to just, like, track and make sure we know where all the children went and who's missing. Well, it's like, you're like, aw, to that little girl that's, yeah. like, you know, that, that can't do anything. But we've already seen her die. Yeah. Yeah. We, they're already dead. <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't see her die. We saw, we know she's dead because the monster came. and But we've all seen... The monster that came from her die as well. Wait, no, I think they were. Weren't we saying like, oh yeah, it's still alive in the basement and it's gonna kill the human group? That's technically not her though. Uh, right, 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 right. And technically, uh, the monster itself is dead. It's is one of the offspring of that monster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I, I would just kind of ship a Theseus sing it. It's like, yeah, it's, it's still Theseus's ship. I don't think you ship a Theseus a person. Because technically, we're all different people because of the way uh, cell regeneration works. That, like, every yeah. 11 years, you're technically a completely different person. Theta, I'm no longer Griff. The, not the Griff you knew. <laughs> but they also complete non-understanding of how memory works. Yeah, it's the yeah. only thing that keeps us being the same person. So basically, mm -hmm. if the ship of Theseus but also interpose a captain who doesn't change. If it's the so, same captain, is it the same ship? So let's see. So what is Ear Girl called again? What is her name, just so we're clear? Don't know. I had to guess on the guy's name, and I was right, so that was, that was my wish. Uh, Mimi Hime. So Mimi. So Mimi literally just demonstrated uh like you said like the ability to like banish the hallucination so you were suspecting she might have anti-power powers but she also has future vision and she's also really really cool now she literally will powered herself through her own fear to comfort a kid i would argue like, that she I, was there's not a better cool character before. than that <laughs> say again nah i'll pass okay uh, we we haven't like associated her to a Hiroko at all yet, so uh, I'm really curious what happens to her. I feel like she's got some main character energy in her right now. I would gamble that we're not going to see every every mm -hmm. instance, uh, given that there's so many of these and we've seen so few. Yeah, yeah. No, that that makes sense. That makes sense. It also we... seems like future vision is something a few people get. It's not her specific power. Given she seems to have like a problem with just seeing it constantly. I guess it makes me think maybe they're refining powers. Because obviously Kanu has it because he's drawn things that haven't happened yet. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're refining all these powers down into like the perfect vessel. Oh man, do you think the old woman is going to be in the twins' body? Oh, oh gosh, yes, yes, that's what she wants. That's what she wants. Maybe the maybe that's what the injection is about. Maybe maybe it's just like a painless killing thing. I want that that's not my son anymore. I want it dead because of what the old woman did to it, but I also don't want it to suffer because it's still my son's body. Here's a painless, you know, injection. I got it from Texas. Here's here's the thing though. Uh what was I thinking? The director's already indicated she needs to transfer to one and then transfer to another later. She has to at least wait until they grow up, which Marv's that age now. So it could be happening right now. It yeah, Robin right now. Robin was testing it out with the other older guy on uh our main uh, characters here. And now that it works, he's gone back. Oh, do you think we're going to see the assistant director, but older now, and with a giant scar across the top of her head? Because she has a haircut where that would be apparent. Yes, yes, absolutely. So is that what Robin is doing? Is Robin actually their kid? What? No. What? what? Uh, assistant director and research guy. No. Robin's way too old for that. Robin is... <laughs> Robin should be alive uh, now right, right. in the Heaven Era as an older person. If so, anything, Robin could be the uh, research guy. Yeah, I was trying to like piece it together. I'm trying to figure out who Robin is, what his I point is. I don't think so. Is. By the way, I don't think Robin is the research guy because their bone mm -hmm. structure of the face doesn't match up. I'm just saying, that's about the age Robin should be in the Heaven timeline 
for Robin to be as old as he is right now. Yeah, like from the from the flashbacks, he's like early twenties or something. So like he's he had to have been a kid when stuff was happening. I think he's older than what you're saying. Although Maybe. I will say it's hard to tell. Japanese people often look younger than they actually are. That's why you can see like a seventy year old Japanese man and mm-hmm. think he's like forty. It's I think it's diet and uh I think it's diet mostly. Isn't that what they attribute that to? The heavy uh, rice diet, fish exercise, diet, exercise, etc. I guess. Well, I yeah. say the heavy rice fish diet because it's it's not mm-hmm. full of a lot of the uh, pollutants that like cows end up with and whatnot. I guess maybe uh, not so much anymore though, because fish are like yeah. drinking up all the shit we put out in the oceans. All those microplastic and mercury, you know, very delicious. It is. Yeah. So um. Helps to the shelf life. But yeah, we we haven't been able to place Robin anywhere else yet, and once we get information on him, it'll become way more clear for sure. Also, the flashbacks that you're referring to of uh, Robin were like yeah. only like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so gosh, Robin is a very big mystery piece here. I think no, he's gonna put a doctor, lot of things together. The doctor is a very big mystery piece because all we have is a fucking picture of him. We have no mm-hmm. idea where the fuck he went, came from, or anything. It's just the fact that Robin also disappeared at the same time, and that we've yeah. seen Robin this episode. That's <laughs> we know infinitely more about Robin than we do about the doctor that uh, he's looking for. Hmm. Ah, oh, gosh. So yeah, no. There. Next episode, we literally make it to heaven. We're we actually got there. I didn't think they would. Well, I'm assuming that it is. The building feels familiar. The building does not look like what we would assume heaven looks like from the inside. The inside is this massive thing. Outside, mm-hmm. that looked like a four-story building at best. Uh, well, we'll just have to find out next time. So, I think that's it for today. This has been Stoneface Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs>